We are going to learn how to design a calendar in PowerPoint presentation this morning. And um, there's templates, not for PowerPoint, but for Microsoft Word, if you would rather just Google search templates and things. But this one for PowerPoint presentation, I'm just going to show you how you could create your own calendar. You're going to open up Microsoft PowerPoint. You're going to do a blank presentation. And remember, we're going to change our slide size to make sure it says letter. I'm going to leave this landscape and hit OK. I'm going to delete those boxes because we don't need them. So now I'm ready to make my calendar. You're going to go to insert, table, and there's right here you can select how, you, how many spots you want in your table. Since there's seven days in the week, we want seven. And I usually do a five week calendar but because I also want a spot to put the actual days of the week, I'm going to make it down six. So my table is seven by six. It's seven across and six down. So this is what we have right here. We have a table. Okay, it's blue. I didn't want it to be blue. I want it to be ink friendly. So what I'm going to do is it's still selected. Down here at the bottom right hand corner, you're going to right click and you're going to select the whole table, actually left click, not right click. You're going to select the whole table. Then up here at the top, you see all these different options. You can click and make it green and blue and gray. And there's a whole bunch of different. I always go up to the very top and I select the one that makes it just outlined. It's clear, white on the inside, and there's just an outline. So now when I get done, I have this. This still doesn't look like a calendar. And I want it to be full page, so I'm going to click anywhere in the tech in the table we created, and I'm going to make it the size of my paper. So I have plenty of room to type. I usually leave room at the top or the bottom to kind of decorate it or put something here. Okay, so now we want to add the dates and the days of the week. Okay, so the days of the week need to go up here in the top. If you just put your mouse there and type. I want to type Sunday, tab, Monday. I'm just tabbing over to the next box. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now, obviously, sometimes I've created school calendars where I left off the Sunday and Saturday on the end so that my spaces were bigger. You can do that. You can make it as big as you want. But now that I've got the text in there, it's just a generic text. You could leave it that way, but I'm going to make mine fun. So where my cursor is right here on Saturday, I'm just going to left click and highlight that whole row. Go up to the home button where your fonts are. I'm going to select, I'm just going to pick a, a font. Okay, now you see what happened here. Wednesday was too long. So I'm going to make my font size a little bit smaller. They need to be small anyway. Okay, now there's another thing that you can notice why this is still highlighted. These are all to the left of the table. We want them centered, so you want to make sure you go up here to the top and you center your text. Okay, then you can click anywhere to get out unselected. Now, to adjust the size of these, if you're moving your mouse around and you get on the line, you'll see there's a line with an arrow up and an arrow down. That means you're going to be able to manipulate the size of the box. Obviously, we don't want them like that. We want it smaller. So I clicked on it, and I'm going to drag it up to right below my text. So now I have my days of the week, and then I have calendar spots on here. And then now that it made it shorter, I just still want to make sure, drag that down a little bit to make sure there's even numbers of squares. And let's just, for purposes, let's do August. And August 1st starts on, I'm pulling it up. Hang on, I'll make sure I get it right. August 1st starts on a Saturday. So I'm going to go over here to Saturday, and I'm just going to put one. Then I hit every time, I just hit tab, two, tab, three, four. I'm just hitting tab to tab over. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
Now here, here's where we are. There's 31 days. So what you could do is you can go up here and type 30 and 31 so that you would know that that's the rest of your August. You could put, you could make your calendar taller. And add a whole nother row. But for time's sake, let's just do it this way. So the 30th and the 31st are up here. Well, okay, scratch that. Let me just go ahead and show you how to add a row. If you just wanted a calendar and you wanted it like this. So we got up here. We put our 30 and 31. Let's take that off. I just deleted it. You want to add a row so that we can have the 30th and the 31st. You select your last row. You go to the corner of the 29, left click and select the row, right click and it will say insert right here. Click on that and it will say you have an option to insert columns to the left or the right and the columns are the long ones. Or you can insert a row, which is what we have, top or bottom. Since I want it on the on right underneath, I'm just going to put insert row below. So it just gave me another row. So then I can click on it and I can put 30 and 31. So now I have a calendar that I can, uh, my numbers are on there. I want my numbers to the left. Or you could highlight all of the numbers and put them to the right if you wanted to. But for this one, we've got our numbers to the left. And um, now if I wanted to add text, now you can click on here and just type in the box. I usually insert a text box, which you would just go to insert text box, make the text box over that day, and then type something you want on there. That way you can maneuver maneuver the text and it's not that's the only way you'll be able to maneuver it if, if you don't type into it so you created a text box and that's over there so you could leave your calendar just like this and um, print it out I would want some little design to my calendar so I'm gonna actually make my calendar a little bit smaller I clicked on that I still want my dates to kind of be big so I'm just resizing my calendar like you would a picture. Oops. I'm going to make it just like that because I want to be able to insert like the word August up here. So I'm going to go to insert text box. Draw a text box up here. I'm going to type the word August 2015. Then I'm going to highlight the text and then again you go over here and you pick whichever fun text you want however you want it. I think I'm going to do this happy one. Still small, you want to make sure you center your text and then you hit the arrow up button to make it, your text bigger. So I put this on 72. So it would say August 2015. Then I just want to insert pictures. So I'm going to go insert. I'm going to go to my clip art and I am going to insert Let's see. Let's just insert the pencil. You know, again, remember you turn your pencil or you turn your clip art how, however you want it. I'm actually going to slide over my text box and I'm going to put the pencil right here. So I have now made a calendar for August of 2015. And now when I'm ready to change my calendar um, or duplicate it, you can go over here to a different month, hit duplicate slide. Then you could come up here and type in, and that's going to be too big. You can type in the next month that you want to do, and then you're going to change your numbers. So if this was the end of August, September is going to be 
you go through and you just delete your text, click in that box and hit delete or backspace. I know there's a little dead time because I'm, I'm deleting these. Um, but I want to get to show you where you might not need. And if you ever get down to the point where you have a blank row and you want to take it out, you would just highlight the row, right click, and hit delete row. And then it deleted that row. So that is how you make a calendar in PowerPoint presentations.